What's up you guys? Welcome back to Ashtoberfest day 10. Today's video is a pretty in pink Pennywise. I know that there are a million Pennywise tutorials out there this year. I haven't even seen the movie yet. I think we're gonna go see it this week. But I've seen the looks going around and I really, really wanted to create one. I was gonna do like a goth Pennywise, but I decided to do a pretty in pink Pennywise instead. I really love the way that this look turned out. I hope you guys love it as much as I do. I thought it was so cute and glittery and girly, and I know not everybody wants to be a really scary, gory looking costume for Halloween if you're going to a party. I'm sure we've all seen that scene in Mean Girls where she shows up as like a really scary witch bride or something. And Regina George is with Aaron Samuels and it's a huge mess. You guys know what I mean? So I decided to do a glam Pennywise. I hope you guys are enjoying my Ashtoberfest series so far. Please let me know in the comments down below which look has been your favorite and which looks you think might be coming or looks you want to see. As always, I will link every product I used in the description box down below just in case you guys want to check out any of the products that I used and let's get into this video. So I went into this my entire body white and I had already put on my water activated paint, my cream paint, and I had set it all and I decided this looks bad. So here I am wiping all of that off, realizing I didn't even want to paint my body white in the first place. I must be really, really delusional from not sleeping because of Ashtoberfest. So I had to completely start this one over, but I did have white kind of left all over me. So I wanted to include this just so you guys could see that this is what it started out as. And I don't just walk around with white body paint all over me all the time. So getting into what eventually will be my pretty in pink Pennywise, I am just putting on some foundation. This one is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation in the shade Y205. You don't need to use a foundation that's paler than you. You can use any foundation that you want. This is just what I had sitting in front of me, so this is what I decided to use. For concealer, I'm using my Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Fair Neutral. This concealer is a little bit darker than the foundation that I used, but that's fine. I'm just going to blend it in using my Damp Beauty Blender. And then I'm going to set that with my translucent powder. For brows, I'm using my NYX Vivid Brights Cream in the shade Love Overdose. I need to warn you guys, this stains. I got in the shower after this look and I got out and I still had pink brows pink lines all over my face. And right now my waterline is still stained pink. So beware if you're gonna use this, it stains. But I'm just filling in my brow like normal, just trying to cover up the darkness of my brows with all the pink. For the rest of this look, I am super excited to be using my Editorial Sephora Pro Palette. I ordered this so long ago and have not used it until this day. So I'm gonna be using the shades Eliza D and Tila. I hope that's how you pronounce it. It's basically the two pink shades in the palette. Starting off with the lighter one, I'm just gonna be blending that out into my crease. I did do like a half cut crease for this look. So I really wanna take that pink shade up almost to my brow. On a smaller brush, I'm taking that shade Eliza D and I'm just gonna be packing that on the outer corner and blending it out in between. I'm also taking it a little bit into my inner corner. To cut out half of my crease, I'm using my Kat Von D Whiteout Concealer, and I'm using a tiny Smith brush for this. To get a good cut crease, I like to add concealer to my lid, and then I like to look up at the ceiling, which will make the concealer transfer, and wherever it transfers to is where I wanna cut the crease. And then I'll just take my brush and even out the lines, and then I take my finger and pat over the edges of the concealer to blend it in with my shadow. I'm also taking a little bit of that darker pink shade and going right above the concealer. On top of the concealer, I'm using one of my favorite pigments right now. That is the Sugar Pill Ghosted Pigment. If you guys have used their Lumi pigment, it's pretty much the same thing in just a pink purple version. So I'm just patting that over top of that concealer. And I'm gonna be taking my Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter Liner in the shade Junk Show. And I'm gonna use that to just add a little bit of glitter to this cut crease. For liner, I'm using my NYX Vivid Brights Liquid Liner in the shade Vivid Fire. And I'm just doing my usual winged liner with this. Two, 
For the inner corner, I'm just taking my finger and some of that sugar pill ghosted pigment and packing that in. On the lower lash line, I am taking that NYX Vivid Brights Cream in Love Overdose. Again, this stains very bad. And to blend it out, I'm using the same pink shades from the Sephora Editorial Pro Palette and I'm going to be blending that out. Then I'm just going to add some mascara. This is the CoverGirl Katie Cat Mascara. While my lashes dry, I'm adding some blush. I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Blush Kit in Radiant. And this is the shade Spoiled. It's a cool pink shade. And I'm just going in really, really heavy with that on my cheeks, my forehead, and my nose. For my little clown nose, I'm using that NYX Vivid Brights Cream. And I'm just drawing a circle. And once I have it pretty much outlined and a little bit filled in, I just took my finger and kind of patted around to get it to fill in the rest of the way. And then I added some of that light pink shade Tila from the Sephora Pro Palette to give it a little bit of highlight. And then I'm going to be adding my lashes. I am so sorry, you guys. I don't know what lashes these are. These were just floating around in my drawer and they looked really good with the look. But really, any lash will work with this look. So just use your favorite lashes. For highlight, I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Sugar Glow Kit, and I'm using the shade Gumdrop. It's very pink. To line my lips, I'm using Kat Von D's Liquid Lipstick in the shade Miss Argentina. And I'm going to fill in my lips using Urban Decay's Vice Liquid Lipstick in the shade Brat. This is my favorite light pink liquid lipstick. And I'm just using my finger to kind of blend those two colors together. Taking some of that Miss Argentina shade on the back of my hand and a tiny winged liner brush, I'm just drawing like a permanent smile like most clowns have. This basically makes it look like you're always smiling, which is really creepy. To map out the lines that Pennywise has on his face, I'm taking a pink eyeshadow from the Sephora Pro Palette and I'm just gonna lightly map out where these go. Once I have those lines mapped out, I'm taking my NYX Vivid Brights Cream in Love Overdose yet again. And I'm just going to be filling in those lines and making them look nice and pretty. To glam this look up, I'm using my Junk Show Heavy Metal Liner again as a glitter glue. And then I'm just adding some dark pink glitter on top. Unfortunately, I don't know where the dark pink glitter is from. I have so many glitters in my drawer that don't have labels on them, but this is just a dark pink glitter. At this point, my lips were looking a little plain, so I decided to go in with the Urban Decay Vice Liquid Lipstick in the shade Big Bang. This is a very sparkly, like Barbie pink shade, but that wasn't enough glitter for me, so I took that dark pink glitter and threw that over top of my lips as well. I also thought my cheeks were lacking some pink, so I took that dark shade Eliza D from the Sephora Pro Palette and added that to my contour. I also took that shade on my neck and collarbones. I wasn't sure what I was gonna do with my neck, so I decided to just shade in a little bit, but I wasn't happy with how that pulled the look together. I thought it needed something else, so I'm taking my water activated body paint in the shade Bubble Gum. And I'm just going to fill in my neck a little bit and then add my favorite little drippies. I love the way that this ties a look together. And since this is a glam Pennywise, I had to add some glitter. This glitter is from the brand Go Get Glitter and this is the holographic pink from the Mermaid Collection. And I'm just throwing that all over making a huge mess and that's it for the makeup i'm just gonna throw on my wig this wig is by powder room d i will link the style down below so you guys can check it out and that is it for this pretty in pink pennywise look i hope you guys enjoyed it this is probably one of my favorite looks that i've done so far let me know what you guys thought of this tutorial in the comments down below if you recreate this or any of my other ashtoberfest looks please send them to me i love to see them also, tag me on Instagram if you're wearing any of the Ashtoberfest merch because I have been reposting all of you guys on my Instagram stories. I love seeing how you guys style the shirts and hoodies. You guys are all amazing and I love you so much. And I think that's it for this video. Don't forget to 
hit that like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. You can also follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter where I always hang out outside of YouTube and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye!